morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. My name is Callie, and this is another weekend of Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee. In today's video, I am going to give you a little etude to practice articulation on bass clarinet and a couple of tips on sounding good on the bass clarinet. Before we get into that, I actually have a patron question that I'm going to answer in this video. And if you remember from last week, I mentioned that I am offering some new perks at the higher levels on Patreon. And so if you join one of the higher levels, levels you get the choice between meeting with me one-on-one -on, -one on Zoom or submitting a question for me to answer in an upcoming video. And so this week, patron and channel member Jeff submitted a question for me to answer here. And so his question is, as a professional, how do you prepare music for gigs quickly? That is a very good question. Um, I will say that one of the biggest things that I do when I am preparing music quickly is actually what I talked about in last week's video, which is micro practice sessions. I target the hardest things in the music and I practice those parts a lot and then I plug them back in to the music. And so I typically play orchestral music or chamber music. And so when I get asked to do gigs, um, I'm pretty familiar with this whole process, right? Um, the other thing that I do is I will get the music uh, to listen to for whatever pieces I'm playing on. And I, I listen to those pieces a lot and I study the score. And so if I don't already know the piece, and so I'll go through and I'll make note of what role my part plays in the overall structure of the piece. And I will make notes of that in my music. I'll also make notes of things like, okay, who, who am I playing with? You know, am I doubling the soon here? Am I playing with the strings? Is this a solo? All things that you want to consider while you're preparing a piece of music because that will change the color of your sound. It'll change what fingerings you decide to use, things like that. And so I try to go into a gig sounding like I've already played the piece a million times before. So that's, that's kind of what I do. So thank you for your submission this week, Jeff. And I look forward to getting more patron questions from the concerto and symphony level over on Patreon. So thank you. All right, so bass clarinet articulation etude. Now, the first thing you wanna do is make sure you have good fundamentals while playing bass clarinet. And so the biggest thing for me is making sure I'm using a lot of air. And so I like to breathe in all the way down to my belly. So I do really big belly breaths. And the other side of that coin is just making sure I'm really whooshing my air out through the bass clarinet when I'm playing. So you can't just suck it all in. And if you're not used to playing bass clarinet a lot, you're gonna run out of air more frequently. So when I'm playing this, Today, this is like the first time I've played this guy in like a month because I had to get it fixed and then I didn't really have anything going on. So um, I had to breathe a little bit more frequently, but you know, big belly breath, whoosh the air. like about this etude also is that it jumps up a register and one of the best uh, pieces of advice I ever got for bass clarinet is for high notes anyway for playing high notes is to think low when playing high and for whatever reason that really grounds me and helps me use the most relaxed air possible because even in the upper register you still have to be pretty relaxed when you play so all of those things that you do to tighten up and flex or whatever on b flat clarinet does not work here so you got to stay relaxed and so i like these octave jumps because it helps me think low when going high <laughs> And so I try not to change anything when I'm going from the low note to the upper note. So that helps me play a lot more consistently with my sound and my air. And then the last thing that I will say about this, and you guys probably already know this, is to help it sound a little bit more musical and a little bit more 
I don't know, exciting and fun by crescendoing as the notes get lower. You'll give those low notes the support in the air that they deserve and you'll also make your band director or your orchestra director really happy by really producing a nice big bass clarinet sound because nobody likes a wimpy bass clarinet. So um, guys, I know that there are so many more tips that I can give about this. Oh yeah, tonguing. Wow, I almost forgot that part. <laughs> this is tonguing. So, when you're articulating on bass clarinet, you don't want to use the middle of your tongue to articulate because that's going to make it sound foofy. You don't want to tongue too low on the reed. I actually tongue, use the tip of my tongue, and I actually tongue a little bit below the tip of the reed, about right here. Um, let's see, yeah. Mm, yeah like about right here on the reed and that helps me get a little bit of clarity in the sound without it sounding too thuddy or punchy or like I'm you know attacking the reed so there we go <laughs> all right everyone thank you so much for watching please put your tips below everybody reads these comments and I have seen a lot of really great comments over the past few weeks of those of you who um, have some tips of your own that I don't address here so Thank you for contributing to the community. Um, if you don't have a bass clarinet, you could do this on regular clarinet. This is from a clarinet etude book, so, you know, have fun with it. Thank you. Have a good weekend this weekend. Have a good week next week. And as always, happy practicing. <laughs>